We're John and Heather Preble. We own this property of Mount Blue, which is 10 kilometres inland from Palmerston. Property is 630 hectares, of which 160 hectares is a grazing lease only. We have approximately about 30 hectares in forestry, microcarpus, radiata, approximately two kilometres of shelter belts, mixed species, radiata, arizonicas. We went into planting forestry in this place. When we first came here 26 years ago. It had two or three shelter belts on it, a couple of wee miserable wood lots which we took out and then decided to start planting their poorer parts of our arable country, flat country and trees to provide us both shelter and in the return income from forestry. The, uh, we're finding now with the strategically planted with the woodlots that we've done, we're getting shelter from them on the paddocks alongside and it's helping much in the uh, improvement to the sheep performance, especially at lambing time. We've got good shelter from the paddocks and uh, we have improved lambing percentages. Behind us we're standing uh, our oldest plantation of radiata, 23 years old. They're uh, actually very, a very good uh, stand, probably the best I've got of all the ones I've got. It's uh, probably due to the slight site selection of it. It runs through a gully with the high spots on each side and the trees are extremely good throughout it. This paddock we're standing in now has got shelter around three sides of it. The grass production from, from here in a dry summer droughty season is, is quite impressive compared with the rest of the place. It'll grow on much longer with a lack of wind and also some of the heat of the sun taken out from the shelter. It proves the point that shelter will actually, though it the trees take up some percentage of your farm, it, the production loss is very little. Uh, behind us now is an area of uh, shelter belt planting. Both shelter plants are uh, radiata and arizonicas, trimmed regularly every four to five years and they're providing very adequate shelter for the three paddocks that they're sheltering there at the moment. Uh, on the skyline above us is a nine hectare block of radiata forestry. It was planted on a dry sunny face which production was not great on it especially in the summertime. It's uh, 19 years old at present. It's, the trees are doing relatively well, it's been pruned up, still requires a, a wee bit of uh, production thin to bring it down to its a preferred stocking rate. We're now looking at our uh, poplar fodder block. There's 1.5 acres approximately in this, this area. It was planted in 1989 and uh, we have used it several times in the last 20 odd years it's been growing. A few years ago there was a re research program done on it to, to finding the ideal time of harvest and production rates of it. It's now established that your best production is to harvest it at least every two to three years. Now predominantly fed the sheep and the one and a half hectares here in a dry summer will be fed with in a paddock next door with a bit of roughage on it, fed poplars daily. We can usually feed between two and three hundred sheep for two to three months on them. The story is to start early while the leaves are nice and full and flush. You leave it thinking you're going to leave it late autumn and you strike this and your production drops off. We've done a few trials on lambing percentages. The ewes that were fed poplars had much better lambing percentage than the rest of the farm in the drought year, and uh, that convinced us that it was worthwhile. I wanted a something where I didn't have to climb trees with power saws in hand. We're using a uh, piloting system of fodder. As you can see, the trees are cut probably a metre high, which is just nice height to work a power saw from. We go around with a small power saw, trim off all the branches onto the ground and the sheep just clean them up. Uh, another reason why we've planted these trees is for a uh, retirement fund. Unfortunately we were a bit late starting and we've actually retired before the trees are ready but uh, they're not far away now and we expect to get quite a good income stream coming from them in the future. Uh, I'd have to stress for anybody farming today they want to at least start planting trees in their 30s so they're ready at the stage when they're due to retire 
get off the farm, the money's there to help establish family into the properties. Another thing we've done is we did not go out and plant one big block as we could have done. All our blocks are in the vicinity of four to nine hectares, spread over about seven or eight years of planting. We come now to harvest time, we're going to have a spread of income. We're selling carbon credits off our trees and we hope that the spread of income will give us very little payback required from our carbon credits. When I first planted my first trees, which was not on this property, property we had before this, I would have to say I knew very little about them. The information was very small. We had no Farm Forestry Association North Otago at that time. And about that time, the uh, Forest Service were promoting forestry on farms, and they instigated getting a branch established in North Otago. I've been a member of that branch ever since, helped most of the uh, committee positions and been on the National Executive for 10 years. Tree planting's done a lot for us on our property. I think the first thing is the immense satisfaction of walking around now and seeing trees approaching maturity and thinking on the other hand perhaps the check coming eventually. But it's making, made a terrific better working environment with a shelter, particularly lambing time. I remember one day was, we had a storm here at lambing time. I'd been out over the uh, part of the farm that has less shelter on. We were taking a hiding with dead lambs and come round to the next paddock that had a shelter about and the whole mob of sheep was up next to the shelter and I thought, hello, here we go, trouble here. Walked up there and there wasn't a dead lamb there. That really point brought home to me the, the value of shelter.